Welcome to the IntelliLearn video library, converting infusion rates from milligrams per kilogram per hour to mils per hour, examples, part one. The order displayed shows that a patient is ordered amiodarone, 600 milligrams in 500 mils of 5% dextrose to infuse at 0.6 milligrams per kilogram per hour. The case notes, which are not displayed on the screen, tell you that the patient's weight is 91 kilograms. What rate of infusion in mils per hour should be administered via the volumetric pump, rounding to a whole number? This calculation should be undertaken in a series of steps in order to simplify it. Step one, first change the rate in milligrams per kilogram per hour to a rate in milligrams per hour. This can be done by multiplying the rate in milligrams per kilogram per hour by the patient's weight which is 0.6 milligrams per kilogram per hour, multiplied by 91 kilograms. This is 54.6 milligrams per hour. This means that this 91 kilogram patient will be receiving 54.6 milligrams of amiodarone every one hour. In the second step, calculate the concentration of the 600 milligrams of amiodarone additive in the 500 mils of 5% dextrose. This is equal to the quantity of amiodarone, which can be read from the order as 600 milligrams, divided by the volume of the IV fluid, which is 500 mils. This gives 1.2 milligrams per mil. This means that every one mil of IV fluid contains 1.2 milligrams of amiodarone. The third and final step allows you to calculate the infusion rate in mils per hour by dividing the infusion rate in milligrams per hour by the concentration of the additive in the IV fluid in milligrams per mil. This is 54.6 milligrams per hour divided by 1.2 milligrams per mil, which is 45.5 mils per hour. The infusion rate should be rounded to a whole number and therefore the volumetric pump should be set to deliver an infusion rate of 46 mils per hour.